Hello, hello. Hashtag health, wealth, life, day 43. Day 43. So, uh, again, let's have a little recap. Where, where's the year going? Are you still on your goals? Are you still doing your New Year's resolutions? Have you changed them? Let me know. Let's have a conversation. We're having some brilliant conversations with people. And I know this is running slightly late uh, than 6 p.m. every day, but that's the way it rolls. Life is busy. Um, Hannity, how are you? Hope you had an amazing day, and I bet it's, it's uh, lovely and warm out where you are. Freezing here, freezing here in London right now. But it was a beautiful day, beautiful blue sky. Um, just a quick one. Um, pop back and see Gabby. Hope you had a good day as well. I know you had a, a, a bumpy start doing something you you love doing, but you was uh, meant to be doing other things. Lauren, good chat earlier on as well. Hello, hello, everyone. And uh, hope, if you didn't catch the video yesterday, just skim through, skim back and watch that one. If you're on Facebook, just scroll to the one before or after this video. If you're on YouTube, uh, you'll be on one of those two from one of the uh, links, wherever platform you're watching it from. Uh, and have a watch of that because it's really important that you see that. This is a 30 second tip I gave you that you can do every day and it will dramatically change your life over time. No doubt about it, it is, has a massive positive effect on you. It's 30 seconds a day, think about that. Right, so today, today we're talking about how to keep your power when there's negative uh, people, negative uh, comments going on. So what this is all about is, um, good, happy days. So what this is all about is uh, through doing body transformations with people, what I noticed is when people started to lose weight and they, they actually, the way they looked in their clothes began to change, their face began to change uh, shape, they looked thinner in the face, people would say ridiculous things to them, like, you're getting too skinny, you know, you're looking ill. You know, I see it so many times, it's ridiculous. And I just, at the time, when I've been through it so many times now, I've actually processed it and I understand it, and I'll give you my insight on it in a moment, but I just, at first thought, you think, what? You know, if someone looks really ill, yeah, okay, you can say they look ill, but these people have gone from being looking a certain way to looking thinner, yeah, but what the hell is wrong with that? Moo, how are you? Hope you had a good day as well. Um, so whether it's a body transformation, whether it's someone going through a business change, whether it's going, someone going through a lifestyle change, and that's really what we're all looking for. Health, wealth, life is about finding a lifestyle where you could live that way for prolonged periods of time because it gives you, it brings out your personal best. You feel amazing at that. You look amazing at that. You produce more than you were before. So you're better than yourself from a month or six months ago and so on. So you're looking for a lifestyle, whether it's a lifestyle change, whether it's a wealth change, you know, someone's changing their finances and starting to live in a slightly different bracket. People will always try to, not always and not everyone, but you'll see it a lot, people will bring people down. They'll try and bring them down with a sarky comment or just an underhand comment. And at first I thought, why? Why do they do that? And, and the, the basic crux of it all is that it's familiarity. People like familiarity. If you start changing from what I'm used to knowing you as, I might want you to just pull yourself back to where you were so I'm familiar with it. And I might not like where you're changing to. Maybe you're getting you know, ripped and looking lean and lovely. Nas, welcome aboard. We have a slogan. Uh, maybe you're looking lovely and ripped and lean and I'm not looking so great and it makes me feel bad about myself. I personally wouldn't say that negative comment, but I see it so many times. Literally, someone's in the best shape of their life. They look absolutely amazing and they're told, oh, you look ill. What? And, and the other thing is, are we used to people looking slightly fatter these days? Virginie, happy day. Hope, you're, uh, hope you had a great day as well. So are we used to people looking a little bit fatter these days? And when they actually go into an optimal state of uh, body fat, and uh, actually they feel better, they're waking better, they're more productive, they, they feel sexier, they look sexier, men or women, and um, have more confidence, and their clothes are fitting better, and they look better in all sorts of different clothes. You know, what, what, why is that a bad thing? Just because someone else is used to your face being a little bit more round. In my opinion, this is a wrong, uh, wrong uh, way to go, and it's, it's wrong for that person. They really need to take responsibility for how we communicate. Um, and making people uh, seeing things from not the not the pure way, you know, is it? Do we actually? What percentage should we be in? What should we look like? Should we look slim, or should we look kind of round and chubby? Is that healthy? You know, it's different. I suppose different cultures have different views on that as well. But my point is that if someone looks feels great and is really happy with themselves, as long as like you know they're not like skeleton and like everything's hanging, yeah, then. 
congratulate them. Ask them what they did. Noz, thank you for sharing. Sharing is caring. Please press the, the thumbs and please press the share button now. Uh, I really appreciate it. So, when it does this, because it cuts out, the signal cuts out. So I don't know if it's recording or not. So what we want is uh, people want familiarity and, they, and that's what's natural. So it's natural for people to respond negatively if there's a big change going on, a big drop in weight or a big change in lifestyle or you hit the jackpot and you've got a big change in your finances. So people usually respond negatively because they want familiarity in their lives. Change makes us feel uncomfortable. And I've been for a lot of change recently with the gym change. So with the gym shift, as you know, um, and it is uncomfortable, but how we deal with that, you know, we can deal with it in a positive way. And that's what I'm talking about here. So no matter where you are in your life, here's the insight. Here's the insight. Uh, no matter where you are in your life, with your body, with your finances, with your health, with your wealth, where, no matter where you are in your life, it doesn't matter where you are in your life right now. People will join you. People will support you once you share where you're going. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you are, where you've been. It doesn't matter right now in your lifestyle, in your exercise, in your body shape, in your anything. It doesn't matter. It only matters. It, you, people will back you up and support you if you share where you're going. And if that direction and the uh, destination of where you're going is a powerful place, that you're heading to a powerful place. Now, there's a couple of insights in this, right? So I, I recently went through this, one of my businesses, and I thought, I've run, we talked about this the other day, right, where I said uh, we can overestimate what we can do in a year and we can underestimate what we can achieve in three or five years. So I was overestimating what I thought I should have achieved in a year. Um, sharing is growing and succeeding. Yes, that's right. So I was overestimating, thanks, Virginie. I was overestimating and uh, what I should have, what I think I should have achieved in a year, and therefore it was starting to slow me down and hold me back, and therefore uh, preventing me from really achieving what I could achieve in three years or five years if I just kept going at that same pace. So people will only join you and support you because of where you're going. And how do they know where you're going? How do they know where you're going? You know, how does someone know where you're going? You have to tell them, right? You've got to share where you're going. You're like, yeah, I am looking thinner and I'm going to be this much in six months time and I'm going to be fitting into this dress size or my jean, the size of my jeans, the waist is going to go down by this much and I'm going to be fitting into whatever, 32s, 30s, you know, 34s, whatever, you know, coming from a 40 waist for a man down to a 32, you know, something really dramatic like that. So paint that picture, the, the more vivid and the more um, clear you make that picture, the more people will say, oh, well, good for you. You know, if they think you're just stumbling through and you just look, they'll, they'll say things to try and pull you back to what's familiar. So I hope this is making sense. Hi, Sarah. Good chat earlier on. Um, hope we're glad to have that conversation. We get some clarity around different points as well, living and learning together. So uh, people say things to bring you back to what's familiar. That's the point of this. If you're going through a body transformation, people might say to you, you're looking, you're looking ill. I've heard it. It's ridiculous. But they say, you're looking ill. You're losing too much weight. No then you just, literally, your certainty, when your certainty is greater than theirs, you will win. That's the second insight point. When your certainty is greater than theirs, you will win. Whoever's certainty is the greatest will win, basically. So if you are certain, you went from a 16 to an eight, amazing. Congratulations, well done. And, you know, maybe share a few points here, pop them in of how you did it. You know, a couple of things you did. Just pop them in the box there. Be, be very happy to hear them. So when your certainty is clearer, and when you are more certain than the other person that's talking to you, if the other person says to you, you're looking ill, you're losing too much weight, you'd be like, I don't think that at all. I'm actually, I'm going to head, I'm heading towards a size eight as a female. So I'm heading towards a size eight. I'm a size 10 right now. I've got some way to go. Now their position is like, oh, they're going even further and they're a size 10, so that's not really that big. Hmm, maybe I'm wrong. You know, your certainty, the more certain you are, the better. You know, get clear. We talked about this from the very, very beginning of the year. Your vision, your goal, um, and being able to, and well done, Lauren, from a size 14 to an eight. So great, we've all had some, a few of us have had some transformation here. How did you do it? Share a couple of things that you did that really worked for you. You know, I'll share some of these as well. But what worked for you? I'm interested to know. 
So you need to tell people where you're going. So the vision of this group is 100,000 people, all healthy, all wealthy, all health wealth in both, dif- in both directions. Remember the distinction on, on wealth. So if you're wealthy, it's being able, let's talk about it on a financial level and then I'll take it into a health perspective. So if you're wealthy financially, it's about you stop working right now today and how long could you carry on the same standard of living for before you had to change your standard of living? How long could you live for? That's how wealthy you are. Are you a week wealthy? Are you a year wealthy? Are you 10 years wealthy? So on. Yeah. So that's really important. So how wealthy are you in your in finances? But then when we take that into health wealth, it's if you stop doing all the things that keep you in tip top shape in your optimal state, how long could you last? If you have one late night and a bad diet for a day, would you be out of sync and be, you know, feel out of whack? Or could you do that for three days, four days, a week, a month? And then you're really out of shape and feeling terrible. How long, how wealthy are you in your health? Health wealth, right? So that's the distinction of of wealth and what that's all about. So it's your responsibility to decide where you're going and share that as a vivid, powerful, certain vision for yourself. And it's very important if you ever want to transform your body. Then no one can shake you. No one can shake your certainty. Whoever's most certain will win. So the more certainty you can have, the more you'll win. Yeah, don't let these people say like these stupid things, these silly little comments that bring you down. Don't let it happen. I've seen it so many times. People get really upset by it. It's ridiculous. And people look amazing. And someone said to him, oh, you look ill. Oh, do I look ill? Do I look too thin? Now? No, you look amazing. And you actually should go a little bit further. And I think that we're too conditioned these days in the Western world, particularly, we've got these kind of easy lifestyles where we can eat as much as we want, really most of us anyway, and and we can at least eat as much sugar as we want because it's so cheap. Uh, So when your certainty is higher than theirs, you will win, and not before. Whoever's certainty is higher will win. Fact. Don't be afraid to tell them the next step. So someone says to you, you're looking thin, you're looking a bit ill, you say, really, you think so? I'm actually going another two dress sizes down. Or if you're a man, I'm actually going down another two inches off my waist. I'm just on on my direction there. I'm going to be fitting into a 32 jeans and clothes that I was fitting into when I was 18 years old. That's where I'm going. Anyway, I don't think I'm thin. I think I look amazing right now. (laughs) And I'm going to look even better. That's the kind of certainty you want, right? It doesn't matter what someone else says. Stick with the people that are positive. Stick with the people that build you up and help you. You know, I've I've seen this. I had to just share this story because I've had it happen so many times where people, it actually slowed down their progress uh, to be in their optimal state, their personal best. It slowed them down. They got there in the end, but it slowed them down because people were so, just their familiarity bubbling up. Oh, I don't want you to change. I want you to stay familiar to me. So it's, it feels nicer to me. Change is, uh, it feels awkward to most people. So anyway, that's the gist behind it. So people might say something about your lifestyle, about your finances or about your body that you think that, that kind of spikes you a little bit. And you think, why did they say that? Do I look that way? Don't, don't. Just have your certainty of where you're going and when you're going to get there and stick with that. And when someone says something that doesn't align with that, so really, is that what you see? Well, actually, I'm going to go, I'm losing a bit more weight. Or actually, I'm going to go and earn some more money. Or actually, my lifestyle is changing more than this. It's going to change much more than this. So look, this is where I'm heading. And boom, 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 you lay it out. Have that vision in your mind and keep going towards it. You might not know exactly how it's going to happen, but you need to know that it will happen. Just have that belief that it will happen. Change in life helped me. So yeah, change sometimes can be really uncomfortable and the most part is uncomfortable, but there's usually some positives in there. There's some little seeds of growth in there that we can get. Bav, hope you're well. Bavna, we need to catch up. Haven't spoke for a long time. Uh, Thank you for all the thumbs up. If I've said anything that uh, resonated with you or you think could help one of your friends or family or anyone you know, then please press the share button. I really appreciate it. And you let me know that I'm on the right track and getting the right message out there. So just to cap it all off and end it today, how to keep your power in, uh, see it in your mind first. Absolutely, Sarah. So how to keep your power is to be more certain than the person you're talking to. So whoever is most certain will win. Be sure of that. So then build your certainty. Build that up. Be sure about it. Know where you're going, why you're going there, and why it's better for you. Why it's better over there. You know? Or if you're in your perfect spot, why it's better where you are. Someone might say, yeah, I think you look better when you was a bit, had a bit more weight. Or I think you look better when you, you, you were a bit slimmer, maybe. But you're like, no, I'm actually happier in this shape where I'm in now. 
whatever is going on for you. So whoever is most certain will win. That is the key to get rid of the negative people and stop them from blocking you, from bringing out your personal best and keeping it out there. And that's it. Any other questions, let me know. Uh, pop them in the comment box. Send me some direct messages. I've been having some amazing conversations. It's really great. It's just nice building, bubbling. and we get. I've been contacted by a magazine today who see my stuff and they're, they're going to publish some, uh, a couple of my articles. So keep an eye out for that. I'll share that with you guys and we'll have a good read and hopefully we can share it as well and get the message out and help people. Let's get 100,000 people in this group. How do we do that? Here's the vision. We share we share the message and we help people understand the message that's been shared today. And tell me your uh, relationship to this message. Um, yeah, stop waiting for opportunities. You manifest them yourself. And you know what's really powerful, Hannity, is when we can speak our vision, talk about where we're going, and we align. Like all the people in this chat right now, all the people that are going to comment on this video, we're aligned, right? We agree. And that's when it's really powerful and we share that message. And a few of us are talking about it, 5, 10, 15, 20. We build that up. And let's get that 100,000 people mark in this group. And uh, let's take this to another level. And uh, we do that by sharing. And we do that verbally and press the share button. <laughs> that's the easy one. Right. That's it for today. Hope that had uh, an impact, a positive impact on you. And gave you a little clarification on something that could block you at some point in your life. So be aware of it and the way to combat it. The real tip is your certainty. Certain about who you are and where you're going, no one can break that certainty. And we're all together. And this group will support you through that, most definitely. We've got some lovely people in this group already. I know you well. Speak soon, Bav. Okay, we'll call it a day there. Remember, guys, what do we need to remember? What do we always need to remember? Who's the first one to write it down? <laughs> Who's the first one to write it down? Who's going to type it first? So, remember... What's the next word? Begins with H. Humongous. No, it's not that. Happy is a skill that you can learn. And this is, this is a better way to bring out your personal best. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia. You've got it. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. All right. So happy is a skill that we can learn. And this is a better way to bring out your personal best. Let's go get some health wealth. Let's take the world with us. Have an amazing evening. Take amazing care of yourself and everyone around you. And I'll see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. Lots of love.